Good morning, guys. Uh, it's the first time I've spoke on the video. Uh, five weeks into the project. Five weeks ago today, we filled it with water for the final time, started circulating, uh, checked for uh, chlorine, uh, introduced a goldfish, and off we go five weeks later. Let's take a look. We'll start at the beginning of the system, which kind of explain what's going on. Uh, this is a sump. It's uh, about 200, and, uh, I, I think there's about 150 gallons of water in it. Uh, you can see the 970 gallon per hour pump uh, comes up out of the sump. Tees off, half goes to the grow bed. Uh, I got it regulated down about a quarter of the flow. Not really sure how much per hour it's putting through, but. Uh, it's really doing a good job. Uh, come over to the fish tank. Uh, 22 goldfish. Uh, we started with 24. Two died. Uh, I actually introduced them in two, 12, uh, two sections of 12, or two parts of 12. Uh, one died the first batch, and then the second batch came, and another one died. So, But they're doing good. Yeah. Eating, they love to eat. Uh, feed them about twice a day now that I've got the blue. Uh, start to produce nitrate and nitrites. Uh, bringing up the nitrates, but uh, a little 250 gallon heater, 250 watt heater. Uh, not really to heat the tank, just to kind of keep the chill off. Uh, today's the first day, it's been over 70 degrees, or, or at 70 degrees. Um, had a couple of really, really cold nights in the last five weeks. Uh, these goldfish are just resilient. They take everything. They go from, uh, I think the lowest I've had it in here was like 46 degrees in Florida. We've had it as high as 80. Uh, and they just seem to do very well. I haven't really decided what kind of fish I'm going to stock in here yet because I know tilapia don't like the cold weather and it gets cold here in Georgia. We're about central Georgia, about 60 miles south of. Atlanta, so um, it gets a little chilly at times. Uh, now let's take a look at some of the plants. Radishes are just absolutely doing wonderful. A uh, question for anybody that might know out there, a lot of times uh, stems see, seem to outgrow the roots. Uh, stems get so high that the plants fall over. You see a couple of the uh, radishes down here I had to kind of prop them up with rocks uh, just to kind of keep them up they would I'd come out here in the morning they'd be uh, fell over because of the water weight on the leaves uh, carrots doing just absolutely great kind of curious how they're gonna do in the rocks I guess I'll see those start to lift as the carrots start to grow same with the onions they're doing very well uh, it uh, these two, the carrots and the onions, were actually the first ones to pop up. It took about seven days. Cilantro, uh, just one. Uh, I think we got another one coming up. You can see the seed down there. There he is. Uh, but I'm not sure. <laughs> because I planted some other stuff in here uh, about uh, two weeks ago. Uh, just as kind of a... Uh, to turn for bugs, some uh, catnip, some mint, um, dandelions, uh, pretty much anything I could find that would deter insects because I'm going to have a lot of them here in Georgia. Tomato plants, these are mine. Uh, they, they took so long to, to sprout, it took about two weeks, so I got kind of impatient and went out and got a couple of potted tomato plants. Uh, and these were heirloom, this one in my bottom, they were heirloom plants. So. Uh, actually got a couple of flowers had one he flowered and then closed and died but there's two more I don't know if you can see them very well but there's two more uh, these are my two like I said uh, plenty of lettuce just so much lettuce that we're gonna eat, be eating salad uh, two different kinds of salad little Jim and uh, Paris Island uh, peas are just kicking butt uh, they're going to go up these strings and try to get them up that way and grow them right, not fighting with each other. 
Rockler doing good too. I'm just not so sure. I heard they're a cold weather plant, but they took right off. They're growing. That guy's just really. <laughs> I think he's going to get in a fight with a valve, so I'm going to have to move him around a little bit. Cauliflower just loves being right there. Uh, got a few other little plants uh, in there, so but it's doing good. Five weeks into it, we're happy. Uh, the uh, bell siphon took a while. Uh, tried a couple of different things, had an issue with it not stopping. Uh, it, it would start, it would drain, it would just do perfect, but it just wouldn't stop. Tried everything in the book and finally decided to look it up on the forums and come to find out the that line was uh, pushed up. So I couldn't, uh, it wouldn't stop. So the minute I pushed it back down, uh, went well and been working ever since. Uh, works great. Uh, here's kind of a picture of the, the you can see or the uh, chemicals uh, you can see that the nitrites are just right there and nitrates I think within a day or so we'll start seeing red more than orange uh, pH is very good ammonia is good so we're doing well uh, just waiting for everything to happen so thanks a lot for checking in with us down here in Georgia and we'll keep you posted thanks